Hello, day 31 of the 90 day YouTube challenge. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is Tumo breathing. Uh, what is Tumo breathing? It's essentially uh, five big breaths, um, holding at the top and locking in between your um, chest and your root chakra, your perineum, and squeezing it in and meditating on the fire in the middle. Um, it's a pretty intense breath, so usually I'm only using it after a long breath hold uh, because it's a, it's a rush of oxygen. And if you are not tapped into your parasympathetic nervous system, um, or if you don't have a good buildup of carbon dioxide beforehand, uh, the oxygen can go straight to your head and you can either pass out or um, your heart rate can get a little over elevated and it really sends you um, into your active nervous uh, your active nervous system or your sympathetic nervous system. Um, what I usually experience after long breath holds is that really intense sensation of oxygen permeating almost every cell of my body kind of lighting up and it lights up my mind. Um, it kind of ignites my creativity. So essentially, like I said, it's five big breaths and I get very active with it um, physically. So I take it in through the nose, out through the mouth, and it looks like this. Last one full in, holding at the top, and I pull it down in from my chest, and I bring it into my solar plexus while flexing up on my perineum or my mula bandha, and I hold the breath in here, and I focus on the fire, the element fire right in my solar plexus. Um, so yeah, I actually, I extend my shoulders, and open my chest to get in as much breath as possible. And when I let out my air, I actually turn my hands in. I use my legs as a guide. I turn my hands in and I let my shoulders roll forward and my back arch a little bit. So uh, during the breathing, my back will go up like this on the inhale and it'll go out like this on the exhale. Not too dramatic. You don't wanna strain anything. Uh, you don't wanna hurt your back. Um, I have a pretty sensitive back, so I keep my limit, uh, my movements pretty limited. So it's five breaths, um, holding at the top of the fifth breath, big in, all the way in, and big out, all the way out through the mouth, in through the nose. And we can do this together, all right? All your air out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out, all the way in and hold, lock it in, squeeze your perineum or your pelvic floor muscles, meditate on the fire, and release slow nice and slow i find if i uh release too early or too quickly i should say when i release too quickly on the tumor breath on that hold i can feel my um heart elevate in uh in rate so i make sure to get back into the parasympathetic mode with a nice long slow release after that hold so make sure you get a nice big long 30 second 40 second release if you can hold at the bottom of the breath it's even better so i'll do this one more time and i usually like to empty my lungs before any big breath exercise like this so all the way out in one out two out three out four out five in and hold lock it in squeeze the pelvic floor focus on the fire and 
and slow, long release. back to normal breathing <sighs> beautiful thank you everybody